He says, together with un undivided faith in Jesus Christ, there must also be unfeigned repentance of sin. That is works. You have to turn from all your sin to be saved. This man is a heretic. Spurgeon goes on, he says, but whatever the literal Greek word may mean, repentance is no trifle. You will not find a better definition than the one given in the children's hymn. So let's, he, let's not go back to the Greek. Let's go to the kids' hymn. Boy, some serious, you guys ready? This is deep doctrine. Pay attention. Repentance is to leave the sins we loved before and to show we in earnest grieve by doing so no more. If, oh, how do I know you're saved? Because you don't sin anymore. Again, preaching a sinless perfection, perverting the gospel, perverting the Holy Spirit. On this page he goes on, he says, Another proof of the conquest of a soul for Christ will be found in a real change of life. When you preach the gospel to somebody, does their life change instantly? It's like they've been smoking for years, that desire just fades away. They throw all their alcohol out. They bust up their TV. Suddenly their children are in line and in order. They love their wife like they're supposed to. They love their husband. They're the best employee. All of a sudden, just because they believe the gospel. Look, that's not true. We're still in the flesh. We have to battle with the flesh. There's a war in our members. It's a daily thing. You as a Christian need to die daily to the fleshly desire and choose to live for Christ. Amen. But they don't believe that. They say, we will know you by your works. We will know you by your changed life. We will know that you're a Christian by your repentance from sin. He says, if the man does not live differently from what he did before, both at home and abroad, his repentance needs to be repented of, and his conversion is a fiction. If you don't repent of your sins, you're not really saved, is what he says. It's a lie. It's a fiction. And then he goes on, he says, but another says, he's given example. Well, somebody says this, but they don't do it. He says, but another says, I have an awful temper. And all of a sudden it overcomes me, my anger is soon over, and I feel very penitent. Though I cannot control myself, I am quite sure I am a Christian. Not so fast, my friend. What? Look, what he's saying is, if you have a temper, and you ever get to the point where you just can't control yourself, you are not a Christian. He says, hasty temper must be conquered, and the whole man must be renewed, or conversion will be questionable. If you ever get angry in here, man, you're probably not really saved. What a wicked, wicked statement. 